we're continuing our celebration of El Dia del Niño here at Children at Risk. Um, and I'm joined today by my colleague, Claire. Claire, tell us what you do at Children at Risk. Hi, thank you so much. I am Claire Duche. I'm the Assistant Director of K-12 Education at Children at Risk. So I work with our public education initiatives in Texas. Tell me, what challenges do English language learners face in Texas as we've discussed this week, El Día del Niño also turned into El Día del Libro, the day of the books, to encourage more kids to love learning um, with the bigger goal of improving our literacy rates. So what challenges do they face in Texas? Yes, yeah, so thinking just as a former educator and um, after speaking with different colleagues still in education, it's leaders in education, you hear a lot that one in five of our students in Texas are English language learners. And so as soon as they come into our school systems, if they don't have teachers that or leaders in their school at all that are bilingual or even have certifications to really well equip them for success, they can start to become disengaged and feel almost insecure in a system that might, necessi might not necessarily be fully supported to prepare them academically. And when you start to feel that disengagement, it's very hard to then learn across five core subject areas plus um, to be successful, especially when that's five different teachers potentially, especially at a high school level. Um, who are trained differently and might have different approaches in teaching that student, just as if you or I were to enter a new country and already feel kind of vulnerable um, and then be expected to learn a subject that we might have already been struggling with, but in a whole different language, it can definitely be very challenging and isolating in an academic setting. Right. That's definitely what we're hearing from so many of our partners at the Children's Immigration Network. But are we seeing anything good? Are there any innovations in the field that excite you? Yeah, I mean, there's always hope and there's always, especially with technology, um, there's teachers that are excited and trying to be re-engaged and still build those relationships intentionally. And so even the simplest thing of um, the translation feature on presentation for PowerPoint to different vocab builders, word walls, just in the classroom structurally, there's methods that are being passed on to teachers. I know there's supports even being put in schools. My school had a specialist on campus specifically for dual language learner support. So not only were they allowed to give the teachers that might need that extra help and support the training, but also provide those resources, make those resources so the teacher doesn't have to be spending that much extra time making it, but more implementing it and working one-on-one -on -one with that student. And so I'm excited to see kind of how that grows um, and hear from my colleagues and the intention they're putting in their classrooms. What's your biggest hope, Claire? A lot. I hope that when someone enters our education system, no matter where they're from, that they feel welcome and they feel like they've entered an equitable space that's preparing them with what they need. I'm excited to see how technological advances um, past just Google Translate, past PowerPoint, past vocab builders on paper are able to help the teacher not only academically reach that student to their potential, um, but build those relationships just like they can with other students, even if there's a language barrier between the two and just have intention and in getting to know that student just as they are the student right next to them. I hope to see just in general more professional development given to teachers being held to that standard that all teachers not only feel prepared in all of their facets um, but especially be prepared to teach the students that are, make up a prim primarily large part of our school populations. Um, just ultimately, I hope that when they enter our system, they feel well prepared and they feel excited to learn um, and they don't really feel as vulnerable or disengaged because of the barriers that currently that they currently have to face. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing these wonderful perspectives and for joining in on our celebration. I appreciate it, Claire. Thank you so much.